Hey guys, this video is going to be covering the build that I used in my last video, the Glaive meme build, so if you haven't checked that one out, make sure you do. Let's start by looking at the build. So obviously you're going to be running your Glaive as the weapon, you're going to want to use the second Q, the Spirit Spear, so you can get stacks for your W, in which you're going to run Harpoon, um, and then Fling, and the Slowing Passive as well. Make sure you're using a Tier 6 or higher Glaive. Uh, or else you won't have the harpoon ability unlocked. For the helmet, you're going to run Assassin Hood. I would suggest at least tier 5 so you can get the cooldown reduction passive on this as well. Armor is Graveguard Armor. I had you run the CC passive, but the toughness passive is good as well. And then the Mage Sandals for your boots. Tier 6 ideally so you can get the efficiency um, energy cost reducing passive on those. For foods, I usually run omelets, although any defensive Food is good, and same with capes, anything that gives you utility, Martlock capes, Limhurst capes, Fortstrowing capes will all be good. So really, the point of this build is to displace people as far as possible. I think it has the highest displacement of any build that you can possibly get in the game. And to do this effectively, you need to combo some of your abilities with your Mage Sandals Delayed Teleport. Now your W, E, and R can all combo really well with Mage Sandals, um, but I usually like to go with the W or the E, the Fling or Harpoon. For the W or Harpoon, you want to start by blinking backwards and then throwing your hook forward. This will pull them all the way back to where your blink originally went from. This is the same as the Spirit Hunter used to be before the changes. For comboing with the E ability or fling, you want to blink backwards first and then E them right before you blink back. So you have to wait a little bit before you E, but then you E right before you blink back and it will throw them to behind your blink location. Now getting good at this build is being able to consistently pull off these combos and knowing which one of them to use in which situation. As a general rule, I feel like it's almost always better to combo your blink with the E ability, the fling, um, because this is a, a slower displacement. They take longer to get to the target location, which gives you more time to set up for things like the chain after it. However, the E combo with Mage Handles is pretty much a one frame tech. It's really hard to pull off consistently, even with practice. I've, I've done this build for multiple weeks and I'm still not as consistent as I would like to be pulling this off. So if you have like multiple enemies on top of you that could CC you, or maybe you're lagging a little bit or just not confident, um, I would suggest using the blink and then hook instead. After you use the initial Mage Sandals combo with either W or E, I generally chain them and then don't move, just start channeling your assassin to get your other abilities back up. And then you can sort of decide what to do from there depending on the situation, but usually a good method is just fling them as soon as they get back to you and then stack your Qs up a little bit so you get the root on the W, blink, and then W them. So altogether, my preferred combo is to stack up the Qs and then throw the W at them, hit them, blink backwards, and then E as the blink is ending to fling them the super far distance, graveguard armor them, and then immediately hit my assassin hit to reset my cooldowns, fling them again, charge up some stacks again, blink backwards, and hook them one final time. If done correctly, you can get people multiple screens away from their original position. The only thing left is just to make sure you watch out for things like night helmets or any other sort of immunities to displacement or damage that will allow them to get out of your combo so things like Night Helm, Soldier Helm, and Robe of Purity. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoy using this build. It is a super fun one to use in things like Factions, EVZs, and Arena. So have a lot of fun with it, um, and stay tuned. Subscribe for more content coming soon.